second day shaping up. An asteroid that looks like a skull could be hitting Earth, and scientists say insect wings are like fingerprints. We've got Professor Cody Stark here to slap you with science this morning. <laughs> Oh, you can see the, the beating that just happened off screen. Okay, this is how you do it. This is, uh, he's going to slap the camera, and it's weird. Cassie's first name in there, so we thought we'd make her do it. All right, it's been, it would have been totally cool, but despite what you heard, an asteroid shaped like a skull is not going to close uh, pass close to Earth this Halloween. Asteroid Darn. 2015 <laughs> TB145, which is what I almost named my son, uh -huh. uh, did look like a skull when it passed our planet years ago. But I can kind of see it, yeah. changed since an asteroid uh, crash and some space debris and other celestial objects messed it all up. Oh, Scientists mm. say there's no way of telling if it's changed shape at all. It's going to be about 25 million miles away when it passes again too far to see what it looks like. And finally, the giant rock will be at its closest November 11th, well after Halloween. So all the fun things you read on the internet are a complete lie. Are you Lies. ready, Cassie? Are you ready? <laughs> Have you been properly trained? Okay, here we go. Slash you with science. Woo! Yeah. Oh, like a pro, man. <laughs> nah! Nice, nice Cassie. Cassie. Nice guess. <laughs> all right, uh, scientists don't expect to get their hands on Martian soil anytime soon. So they're making their own. Astrophysicists from the University of Central Florida have created a red soil that's designed to give researchers a useful similarity to the actual soil from Mars. So yes, you can buy it too. The university is selling it for 20 bucks for two pounds. And NASA's Kennedy Space Center already has placed their order. I'm going to be placing ours. I found another university that's selling it where I can get four pounds for $39. Oh. oh. Wow. Which is really the same. This is like the but same thing. I, you know, it's the $39.99. It makes you feel like it. More. You insulate the more for it. Uh, dragonfly wings, just like fingerprints, some insects, no two wings are exactly alike. Yeah, scientists are now studying dragonflies' wings and using a math procedure to help them understand how they get their patterns. Oh. Turns out the insect wings have two types of veins that support the structure of the wings. The veins then break into smaller patterns uh, when the dragonfly grows up. But they say the wings don't exactly match. They're hoping that with uh, the help of math, they will be able to produce a similar pattern that will help them understand the vein's development. Wow. That's pretty cool. That is cool. It's that something you never think cool. about, but now I can't stop. Yeah, okay. That's and cool. you've been tickled with science. <laughs> 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 oh. Not tickling. <laughs> All right, there you go. Everybody, come here, Cassie. Come here, quick, quick, quick. This new Cassie. This is Cassie. Hi, Cassie. Hi, Cassie. Cassie. Cool hair. Look at this, the volume on the hair. I know, it's great. Spot on. Teach me your ways. All right, back to you. All right, Cody, thank you. Oh, my face hurts from being slapped so much. All right, this